Hi, my name is Lindsay Samper, and today I'm going to show you five of my favorite yoga poses to do for low back pain. So some of these poses are going to be done at the wall. So you can go ahead and set your mat up just like this right next to the wall. We're going to go ahead and get started. So come lie down on your back, stretch your legs out straight and take your hands behind your head. Let your elbows rest on the floor. From here, walk your legs over to the right side. So take your legs, walk them all the way out to the right side until you feel a good stretch through the left side of your body. If this is enough for you, then you can stay here. If you need a little bit more, then lift your shoulders off of the floor and take your torso over to the right as well. So you're making a C shape with your body or a banana shape with your body. Take a full breath in through your nose, fill your belly up with air, and then exhale out completely. Let your elbows rest on the floor, and with each exhale, let go a little bit more. So see how much you can relax, how much you can let go. And on your inhales, think about expanding through the whole left side of your body. So expand through the left armpit, Inhale, expand through the left ribs, the left side waist, all the way down through your left hip. So with each breath, think about expanding through those areas. And with each exhale out, release, relax a little bit more. So we'll stay here for a little while. This is a pose that's really great to be in for a good three to five minutes. So you can always pause the video, stay in as long as you'd like. It's one of my favorite go-to poses for back pain, lengthening the sides of the body. So we're really getting into what's called your QL. It's a deep muscle in your back. Uh, it stands for quadratus lumborum, and it's very often a culprit in back pain. And this is one of the best stretches to get into that muscle. Continue taking big, deep breaths in, full breaths out. Focus on expanding through the left side of your body and bring awareness to both sides. So your left side's being stretched. It's really easy to bring your mind there, but also pay attention to the right side of your body. One of the first steps in overcoming any kind of pain or dysfunction in your body is to bring awareness, to be aware of what your body feels like, where pain is coming from, where discomfort is coming from. So take this time to move your awareness from head to toe, both sides of the body. Noticing what everything feels like, if something feels tight, if something feels weak. Even if an area feels painful, don't avoid that area. Still bring your awareness there. Breathe into it. So take a full breath into that space. On your exhale, see if you can release and let go a little bit more. Again, you can stay here for up to three to five minutes. You could do this a couple of times a day like to start my day with this and end my day with this pose. Take three more big, deep, full breaths right here. Let your shoulders be heavy. Let your face be relaxed. And as you breathe in, let your belly expand out so your breath moves deep into your abdomen, not just your chest. One more full breath in. And full breath out. Good. Bring your upper body back to center and then walk your legs back to the middle. And stay here for just a second and just notice how that left side feels. It might feel a lot longer than your right side. Good. And then let's take the other side. So walk your legs over to the left side this time. Walk them all the way out until you feel a nice good stretch through the right side of your body. 
And again, you can stay here if this is enough for you. If you need a little bit more, lift your shoulders up off the floor and take your torso over to the left side so you're in a nice banana shape with your body. And again, utilize your breath. On your inhale, think about expanding the right side of your body all the way from your arm, your armpit, your right ribs, side waist, all the way down through your hips and your legs. And with each exhale, see how much more you can let go. How much more can you relax? It's very rare that we relax completely right from the get-go. So really focus on that. See where else you can let go. And while we're here on this side, I want to talk a little bit about some of the common culprits for chronic back pain that you may or may not know about. One of the biggest ones is sitting for long periods of time. So if you're in the car or you're on a plane or just sitting at work, that's a real, uh, that's an easy way to create a lot of tightness and tension in your low back. So it's why it's important to get up and move around often throughout your day. Um, other common culprits are sitting with crossed legs or sitting with crossed ankles. So start breaking that habit. It's really important. It offsets your pelvis. It creates a lot of imbalances around your hips. And because of that, it also creates imbalances in your back. Also side sleepers. If you sleep on your side, you have one hip hiked up higher than the other, and that shortens the muscles on that side of your back. So that's another way that we create imbalances. So it's, it's ideal if you can sleep on your back with some pillows underneath your knees. So just some things to think about so you can start paying attention to what you're doing throughout your day and what may be triggering your back pain. Keep taking full breaths in through your nose, expand your belly out. Long, slow exhales. And just soften your face. Keep your throat soft. Let your arms be heavy, let your shoulders relax. Make sure your legs are heavy, you're not holding on anywhere. And see if you can really feel how the whole right side of your body is expanding and lengthening. And at the same time, keep your awareness on the left side of the body as well. Take three more deep breaths right where you are. Full inhale, let your belly expand out. Exhale out completely. Two more just like that. Expand on each inhale, relax on each exhale. Good, and then bring your torso back to the center, walk your legs back to the middle. Take a few breaths right in the center, let everything relax, let your feet open up to the side. Full breath in, full exhale out, see how long the sides of your body feel. From here, slowly roll over onto your belly. We're gonna come into a sphinx pose, so just prop yourself up on your forearms. And let your, let your torso, let your belly relax completely. Try not to hold onto it here. So let everything go. And if you find that this is really uncomfortable in your low back for any reason, just prop some pillows or folded blankets under your pelvis and that'll raise it up a little bit and take some of that, that tension and tightness out of your back. So a lot of times when we have back pain and we feel really tight in our low back, our tendency is we wanna, we wanna stretch it the other way and we wanna fold forward and stretch it out. And what I want you to realize is when your muscles are tight, they're tight. Um, and right here, what we're doing is we're shortening the muscles in your back. We're not playing tug of war, which is what you do when you're trying to fold forward. You're trying to fight with that tight muscle. We will get into a forward fold, but before we do, it's really important to 
shorten the muscles just like this. And you can stay in this sphinx pose for as long as you'd like, three to five minutes is usually good. If you're not feeling very much here, then you can start to straighten arms out. But take your hands out far in front of you and straighten your arms and see how that feels. You want to find a stretch where it's a good stretch, but it's not so intense that your body's tensing up and guarding. And then you can lay yourself down and take your hands back a little bit further each time. And maybe your elbows straighten all the way, maybe they stay bent. So again, find that sweet spot for you. And so you can come back down and slowly bring your hands back a little bit more. Maybe you stop there. You could come all the way to hands close to your sides, but again, this isn't a contest, so don't try to push yourself too hard. The goal is to feel better. So right here is a perfect spot for me. I don't need to straighten my arms any more than this. Just be sure that your shoulders aren't shrugging up towards your ears. Actively pull your shoulders down your back, away from your ears. And if this gets to be too much, just come back down to your forearms and rest there. Full breath in, full exhale out. Again, bring your awareness to your body. So notice what sensations you're feeling in your low back. Is it tight? Is it dull and achy? It will feel a little tight after a bit of being in this position and that's normal. We're about to go into the opposite direction and stretch out the low back, but I wanna stay here for a little bit. So just like the pose we did before, this is perfectly fine to do throughout your day, especially if you've been sitting in the car for a long time or just sitting for a long time in general, it's really good to come into this position first. We'll just take three more breaths here. Even if you're on your forearms, make sure you're not sinking down. Keep actively pulling your shoulders down away from your ears, but let your low back and let your belly be soft. One more full breath in and exhale out. And then from here, lower yourself down to the floor nice and slow. You can stack your hands on top of each other or even stack a fist on top of each other and then rest your forehead down. So we've been essentially in a back bend and it's good to come to a neutral position like this and allow your muscles and tissues time to readjust before we take it into the opposite direction in a forward fold. So full breath in, allow your belly to expand and press into the ground. Full exhale out. Take two more deep breaths, just like that. Focus on releasing any tension you may still be holding in your low back. Good. And then from here, take your hands underneath your shoulders and you're gonna slowly push all the way up into a tabletop pose and tuck your toes underneath and press your toes into the ground. Stretch out through your feet. Good, and then untuck your toes, bring your big toes to touch, take your knees out a little bit and sit your hips back towards your heels, go nice and slow for child's pose. So this is the opposite movement. This is folding forward, stretching out your back. And then if you feel like this is a lot, I want you to take your time. So you may stay here with your arms straight. If you need more, then start to walk your hands forward reach your arms forward and then rest your forehead down onto the ground. This time when you breathe, as you inhale, I want you to focus on expanding through your low back. So just think about the muscles and the tissues in that area. Just think about them expanding and getting bigger. And as always, with each exhale, find your softness. 
Where can you relax? Where can you let go? Your arms can be active here if you'd like. It's an extra stretch through the side of the body. And you can even walk your fingers forward as much as you can towards the front of your mat. Straighten your elbows. You'll get a nice stretch through the side of your body and even through your pec muscles of your chest. Another option is just to let your elbows rest on the ground and, and be relaxed and let go. Walk your hands back towards your knees and go ahead and sit down on the floor facing the wall. And you're gonna scoot close to the wall. It's gonna depend, it's gonna be different for every person how far away you are from the wall. So you may have to shimmy a little bit here, but you're gonna lay down on your back and place your right foot on the wall. So I'm at about a 90 degree angle with my knee right over my hip and my knee in line with my right ankle. And then take your left leg up and take your left ankle on top of your right knee, right thigh. If this is not, if that's too hard for you to get into, then shimmy your way back so that you're further away from the wall. Keep your left foot flexed. And if this left knee is really close in towards your body, then your work is going to be start opening it out to the side. So you should feel a nice stretch through your outer left hip. And if you're really tight in your adductors, then you may also feel a stretch in your inner left thigh as well. Good. So if this is too easy for you and you need more, then you can always reach your hands and grab behind your right thigh and start to pull your leg in towards your body. But notice if this left knee is really curved in, keep opening your left knee out away from you. So find your sweet spot. Find a good place where you're feeling a good stretch, but it's not so intense that your whole body is really tensing up. That defeats the whole purpose. So we're getting into the glutes. We're getting a little bit into your inner thighs. And these are all muscles that attach to your pelvis. So they're, they're big players in low back pain. So whenever we deal with pain in a certain area of the body, we don't just address the muscles in that area. We also address surrounding muscles as well that may be affecting that area. So remember to keep this left foot flexed. The reason I tell you to do that is for knee safety. If your foot is sickled like this, then that's going to place some strain on your knee joint. And after you've been here for a while, you may feel like, okay, I, I can progress a little bit more. And then you may start to bring both legs in a little bit closer. Just work with wherever you're at. Keep breathing, keep using your breath. Continue to open your left knee out to the side away from your body. Full exhales out. Remember on your exhale, release. Release your tension, relax your body, keep your jaw soft. Oftentimes when we're working in the hips, people's jaws tend to get really tight. So keep that loose. Maybe take your bottom jaw away and shake it out a little bit. Good, and we'll do the other side. So take your left foot to the wall and cross your right ankle on top of your left knee. Keep your right foot flexed. And then begin to open your right knee out away from your body. And you can use your right hand to gently press into your leg and encourage it open without fighting anything. And notice if one side felt a lot different than the other, oftentimes it does. And that's just something that you put in your mind. You just notice those things. You don't get angry about them or frustrated about them. It's just the way that it is, and it's where your work begins. So full breaths in. Again, let your breath be in your belly. Long exhales out. And again, if you feel that you've got a little space to go further, you can 
begin to and, and and maybe it's just pointing your toe on the wall so that your heel lifts that's a gentle uh, encouragement in towards the body if you need more you can interlace your hands behind your left thigh and start to bring it in but it's not about how far you can go it's just about getting a good stretch so don't worry about what the pose looks like just worry about where you're feeling this and, and what it feels like so again, you should feel this through your outer right hip, through your right glutes, and maybe even in the inner right thigh. Continue breathing. We'll take three more breaths right here. So make them count. Big, full breaths in. Really fill your lungs up with air as much as you can. Complete exhales out. When you think you've exhaled all you can, try to exhale a little bit more. Really get all that stagnant air out. One more breath in, expand out, and one more exhale. Good. So uncross your legs, and we're gonna do legs up the wall now. So you can shimmy your way closer to the wall, or you can get up and get a little bit closer. I'm gonna get to where my hips are right up against the wall and stretch my legs out straight. So for people who have tight hamstrings, that's really hard to do, don't worry about it. You can always be further from the wall. You can also place some pillows underneath your hips to lift your hips up and that'll take some of the pressure off of your hamstrings. Now from here, I'm gonna go wide. So I'm gonna take my legs out wide I can go pretty far, don't worry about how far you can go. Yours might be in a shorter V stance. What I'm going for here is stretch through the inner thigh. So I want you to get your legs out until you feel a good stretch through your inner thighs and you'll also feel a nice stretch through the backs of your thighs where your hamstrings are. So again, your, your adductors, your inner thigh muscles attach all the way to your groin, your hamstrings also attach, attach to your pelvis. So if those are tight, and a lot of times they are, uh, since they attach to your pelvis, they can pull it down. And when they pull it down, that can create a lot of extra tension in your low back. So everything's connected. That's why we get into a lot of other parts besides just the back. And having the legs up above the heart is great for a lot of reasons um, other than just getting into the muscle tissue. So if you stand for long periods of time throughout your day, uh, if your ankles tend to swell, if you have circulatory issues, having your legs up the wall for, again, three to five minutes is wonderful, really great thing to do for your circulatory system and also really good for help balancing out hormones you can have your arms resting down by your sides i like to have them resting on my abdomen so that i can feel my breath rising deep into my belly get used to belly breathing we breathe up in our chest we use a lot of accessory muscles in our neck and that's why we can get really tight up there. So the more you can learn how to breathe deep into your belly, really use your diaphragm to its fullest, the better it's gonna be for a lot of things. Good, so you can stay here for another three to five minutes if you'd like. That's all I have for you today so when you're ready to get up you can just bend your knees and then roll over to your side to get up best way to get up off the floor from that position so you can pick and choose your favorite poses from this video or you can do the entire video one to two times a day for as long as you need until you get some relief in your back pain thank you for practicing with me today namaste With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. 
At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv, get well, feel better.